Yeah, San Diego State's had a heck of a run here with these recruits. It's been amazing three weeks for that guy. I'll tell you what, Sean Lewis has done a unique job. He has just been rated the number one recruiting class in the entire Mountain West Conference. And it's weird because all these schools have lost their head coaches within about a two or three week span. And San Diego State's the one that jumped in first to hire the right guy. And he has hit the floor in terms of recruiting. He signed 25 already, 11 transfers, 14 high schools. He's saving six scholarships for what he thinks will be the spring portal. There'll be a second era in which players can go into the portal after spring football. So he's going to save some. You got two marquee quarterbacks. We talked about Danny O'Neill, a high school kid from Indianapolis, who's enrolling, will be here in January and be here for January 21st meetings and when the off-season weight workouts begin and then obviously be here for spring practice. A.J. Duffy, transfer Florida State. He's got a couple years of eligibility left. He walks in. All four quarterbacks that were on the roster at the end of the season who are eligible to return, they're all coming back. Um, he got four wide receivers. Two of them were starters at other places. that caught tons of passes, one from Portland State. He got a tight end. Uh, from Colorado. He's got a tight end uh, from a junior college ranks out here, Butte Community College. He's only got three offensive linemen so far. I think there's probably another group coming maybe when we get to the spring portal. And he signed a bunch on the back end defensively, total of six or seven linebackers and got a bunch of athletes in the secondary. So I think he's taken a step forward. I know it all looks great on paper. They got to do it on the field. Uh, spring football is going to be so critical because what they're doing is so different than has ever been done here before in terms of we're going to throw 40 passes in a 15-minute period in practice, 40. So he's got to get these kids geared up for the wear and tear it's going to take to run Aztec Air, play fast. So that's going to be fast. Spring football is going to be hugely important in terms of getting them on the field, getting the system ingrained, and keeping them free of injury. So I think at this point in time, I'm I'm really impressed. I don't know if Aztec fan, I don't know how many of them out there, how impressed they are with what he's done, but uh, this will be very, very different. Yeah, it's it's very interesting because so many are leaving in the portal. 21. But all the, yeah, which was, we talked about that. But now all this talent coming in, and I remember just on – you know, Aztec Twitter online, the, these, these fans were furious with Brady Hoke, you know, because the whole program was going downhill. They weren't really recruiting top talent. People kept saying, get a better head coach, you know, get an electric off. Well, you've been saying, get the electric offense. You have something to sell, but a new coach can reinvigorate the, the recruiting and we are seeing it now, but wouldn't it be something? If we can go back to the days of Marshall Falk when you were broadcasting the team and have guys going downfield. Who was the other guy? Darnay Scott. We had a bunch of really sure. good receivers back then. So uh, it's got to be done on the field. Again, they got all these names on paper, and these guys have accomplished some things other places, but now they're going to have to teach them. It's going to be very different. It was weird because yesterday morning, I'm, I was trying to think. I went to another Sean Lewis press briefing at San Diego State. And it was really weird. I, I thought about what just transpired in the month of December in the conference. Brady Hoke, gone. Bowles, Wyoming, who did a great job with no resources, gone. Jeff Tedford, Fresno State, steps aside. Then the coaching changes where they weren't having a lot of success, be it New Mexico, be it Nevada, Reno, et cetera. And I, I, it just dawned on me that the veteran coaches – who had had a lot of success, Boise State included, gone, couldn't adopt to the change. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's it's a very tough job right now to be a head coach because a transfer portal, NIL rules. They don't have a lot of resources in the Mountain West to match. People are tampering with their players all the time. So for him to do what he did in three weeks to get 25 commitments and get them all cleared because mm -hmm. they have to go to the other side of the campus academically and say, this player wants to transfer in. We need you to evaluate his transcript, what is transferable, et cetera. For them to do that in a three-week window, to me, is just unbelievably impressive. Now he's got to obviously make it happen on the field with what he's gotten so far. It is indeed a new era. But I, I was, what's the term, pissed off? This guy's resume is really impressive. And for that many players, especially on the offensive side of the football, to walk out the door after one meeting when he met with every kid on that roster 
and said, this is my vision for you, and here's what we're going to do. All you need to do is look at video of what Colorado ran. Go back on YouTube and look at what Kent State did when he was head coach and led them to, I don't know, 22 and 4 over a two-year window. How could you not be impressed with that? Why would you bail now? Why not go through spring practice and just see how you fit? And you can still opt out in the spring if you wish. That's what bothered me, that so many kids made the decision to exit without giving him a chance to actually show what they were going to run and what they were going to do. And the other thing, the last question of the press conference, I raised my hand. I said, if not all these 21 who've gone to the transfer portal find that the grass is greener other places, would you reopen the door to let any of these kids back? And his response was blunt. He said, Lee, I want guys who wanted to be Aztecs. They didn't want to be Aztecs. So to answer your question, no, the window was closed. Ah, there you go. Got to ask the tough question. Well, I would imagine that some of these hot recruits that he had were probably going to Boulder, Colorado with Coach Prime. Maybe he's redirected a few here. A couple here and other guys have decommitted from other places. Plus, there, I think there, everybody in high school throws the football. So I think there's a lot more kids that they can open up by, here's Sean Lewis. Here's my calling card. Here's my resume. Go YouTube what we ran at Colorado, what we ran at Kent State. How could you not be impressed with how explosive and dynamic it was? So job done there. Uh, 